वेलकम टू माई चैनल फी कंसेप्ट सी एच एम दिस इज द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द सीरीज ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन टू लेजर्स वेल वील सी अबाउट द कंपोन ऑफ लेजर लेजर बीम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स कंपोन ऑफ लेजर the di the diagram shows an active medium that is the first component of the laser the active medium is a medium which when excited reaches the state of population inversion that is the number of atoms in the higher state will be more than that in the lower state so when this state of population inversion is achieved that promotes stimulated emission for which the requirement is that the atoms should be in the higher states and when those atoms collide with the incident photon that leads to stimulated emission that is it will emit an another photon and uh, this leads to light amplification now each atom is characterized by large number of energy levels but uh, you will find that only few atoms will be suitable for achieving population inversion so these atoms are the ones which will produce the stimulated emission so they can produce more stimulated emission compared to spontaneous emission and this is that is why it causes light amplification so these atoms they are called as the active centers and the rest of the medium will act as a host and will support them so the medium which has active centers it is called as active medium or a laser medium second component is a pumping agent the pumping is a process we had seen in the last video that pumping is a process of supplying energy so external energy to the laser medium in order to achieve the state of population inversion and now to maintain this condition of population inversion the atoms of of the lower energy state are to be raised to the higher energy state so for that uh, we will require energy so energy has to be supplied to the system so there are different methods of doing this the energy can be supplied or it can be pumped through different methods like optical pumping electrical discharge and direct conversion third component of laser is the optical resonant cavity so this consists of this pair of optically plane parallel mirrors which are shown as m1 m2 which form a resonator and it is called as a fabry perot resonator so here m1 is a 100% reflecting mirror and this mirror m2 is semi transparent mirror that is it will be reflecting light but it will be also transmitting some a uh, small fraction of light so these two mirrors they form a resonator light will be passing through the active medium it will be reflected by the mirror m2 back to the mirror m1 again the light will be reflected back from m1 to m2 then from m2 to m1 so the light will be suffering multiple reflection and this actually causes the amplification amplification of light so it is working like an electronic oscillator which is continuously producing a uh, oscillating output okay the output is continuously oscillating at a particular frequency uh, because of the mechanism of positive feedback so same kind of thing which which we see in an electronic oscillator same thing is occurring here also next is laser beam characteristics so laser has numerous characteristics which actually play a very important role in the applications first is directionality if you consider the cases case of conventional uh, light sources they emit light uniformly in all the directions the light that comes from a laser it is highly directional so 
we know that the active material is in the in the cylindrical resonator so any light that is traveling in a direction other than parallel to the cavity axis is eliminated only the light that is traveling parallel to the axis it is selected and reinforced which will be and suffering uh, many multiple reflections so the light propagating along the axial direction will emerge out from the cavity and it becomes a laser beam and uh, so the laser emits light only in one direction second characteristic is its divergence now light from coming from the conventional sources they spread out in the form of spherical wave fronts so it's the divergence is very high it's highly divergent but the light uh, coming from a laser it is in the form of plane waves uh, we can say in in terms of rays the light beam uh, is a bundle of parallel rays okay so the divergence is very small like for helium neon laser the value of divergence is 10 raised to minus 3 radians that is uh, it means that the diameter of the laser beam increases by about 1 meter for every meter it travels so we can also find the divergence uh, like first measure the diameter d1 of the laser spot produced on the screen kept at a distance l1 then you change this distance to l2 and again measure the diameter which will be d2 and then we can find the angle of divergence from this formula divergence angle of divergence is denoted as pi it is equal to d2 minus d1 upon l2 minus l1 next is intensity so intensity uh, of the light which comes from the conventional light sources uh, it decreases rapidly with the distance as you go away from the source it is decreasing with distance now in laser uh, the laser emits light in the form of narrow beam so the energy is concentrated in a small region of space therefore uh, the intensity of the beam it remains very very large and actually it remains constant with the distance if the distance increases from the source even then the light coming from the source remains constant the intensity of the laser beam is approximately given by 10 by lambda the whole square into p where p is the power radiated by the laser next is coherence now the light coming from the conventional sources of this conventional source is a jumble of short wave trains which combine with each other so they are not uh, the, all the waves are not in the same phase they are all moving in a random direction and hence the light uh, from the conventional source is incoherent now in case of the laser large number of identical photons are emitted that is they are of the same frequency and uh, uh, they are emitted uh, through the process of stimulated emission and uh, therefore they are all in phase with each other so the laser light exhibits a high degree of coherence monochromaticity now if the light coming from a source has only one frequency or it is of single wavelength of oscillation then we say the source is monochromatic so light from coming from a traditional uh, that is a conventional uh, source it uh, spreads over a wavelength range of 100 angstroms to 1000 angstroms so different wavelengths are uh, existing in that kind of source so but uh, the laser light is highly monochromatic and it contains a very narrow range of few angstroms typically 10 angstroms thank you for watching this video